A family's plea to drivers everywhere. While 39-year-old Stephen Branch lies in a coma in the hospital after being hit by a car, his loved ones are trying to prevent what happened to him from happening to anyone else. NBC 15's Marcus Arzval joins us. Marcus, Branch's family hopes people pay more attention on the roads. Yeah, take a look at this photo. Branch is the man in the brewer's hat there. Uh, he was hit at the intersection of Commercial and North Sherman Avenue on the north side of town 10 days ago. Branch's brother Preston talked with me today, hoping his story gets drivers to pay better attention on the roads. People are affected by this, you know, family members are permanently affected. Preston Branch's brother Stephen is in a coma 10 days after being hit by a car on Commercial and North Sherman Avenue. This is impacting families, yes, this is, you know, changing family dynamics forever and just knowing that you're altering other people's functions because because of that, I think that'll help people understand the importance of, you know, just driving safely. The Branch family is thankful the driver who hit Stephen stopped and performed CPR. Madison police say this isn't always the case. A lot of times we do have to go searching for a driver um, and that just adds additional charges to whatever, if any, that person may face. And so we always encourage people, you know, things happen. If you do find yourself in a situation like this, please remain on scene. City of Madison pedestrian bicycle administrator Renee Calloway works on Vision Zero, the city's plan to reduce traffic related deaths. There are still too many people who are being killed on our road. And this is in a city that is considered very safe for walking and biking. She says once MPD's investigation is done, they'll look into possibly slowing traffic down where Stephen was hit. And we will certainly look at that to see what kind of improvements we can make along that corridor. Now, Stephen's brother waits to see if he'll come out of his coma. Knowing that, you know, he's still alive currently and so the future is still untold and that he can fully recover, you know, there is that um, possibility. And we're hoping for that recovery. According to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, there have been 40 crashes involving pedestrians in Dane County in 2023 so far. Three were fatal. In 2022, there were 109 crashes and three total fatalities. Live in the studio, Marcus Arswold, NBC 15 News.